I want to be able to get a full grip. I want to be able to chop down nicely without ever having to worry about my knuckles hitting the cutting board. Nothing bothers me more. Another thing is I don't like the cross section of this grip here, kind of at the Ricasso area, to be too thin. And I know a lot of chef's knife will have a really thin area right here to get your knuckles off of that cutting board um, and not have to have such a wide blade here. But this is a nice, happy medium between this is not too wide here, like a cleaver or anything, but your knuckles are never going to hit. And it's got a nice wide grip, gives you lots of control, it's going to be a really comfortable knife to use. Another thing I don't like is when this tip is too far biased towards the spine. I definitely like it closer towards the edge of the blade. What that lets me do is that when I want to access this tip to use it on the cutting board, I don't need to lift my wrist all the way up here to get to the tip. I can just come right here, I don't have to lift it too high, not even 45 degrees, and I get access to that tip when I want it. The last thing I really like in a chef's knife is I like this back section to be basically flat. What that lets you do is that when you're going to do a quick chop, you don't have to rock the blade a whole bunch to get a complete cross-sectional chop and cut right here. So you're cutting notoriously a celery, put the celery down, you're chopping the celery, you go lift it up and it's still kind of connected. If this is too rounded, you have a really inefficient motion, almost like a an ulu or an herb chopper. It's really great for that specific type of knife, but for this, I want this section to be flat. I know that when I come and touch this heel, everything from here to here will get completely chopped. It just makes it more efficient for me. It's what I like. I think it makes a great all-purpose chef's knife. This is coming out perfectly.